with the NAP 2020 coming into being a functional policy, it's time for educators, parents, teachers, everyone in society to look at education, schooling in a new way. It's time, I think, now every few years we review uh, education and it's been happening over many years. And I feel the time now has come to look again at uh, schooling, learning and uh, what we are making our children go through. So is it okay for this kind of schooling to continue? What are the changes that we want to bring in? And uh, change is not just changes per se, but towards what? You know, what are the objectives that we want? What do we want to pass on to our next generation? I think these are things that we need to look at as uh, being part of the whole society as such. Of course, teachers play a special role, educators play a special role, but it's also for parents to look at what do they want for their children, rather than go in a mechanical way and acting on anxieties. Let's step back a bit and uh, review that and uh, explore for ourselves also what we want for ourselves, what we want for our children, what we want for society. The Chal Shiksha Festival, Film Festival is one opportunity to do that through a different medium so that we get a little bit shaken up and looking from another point of view at, at the education. Instead of only looking at through curriculum, you know, teacher training, etc. Films is a one way, wonderful way of uh, reviewing what we are going through now. For filmmakers also, I feel it's uh, important. They're also part of society and they're uh, an important part of expression of society's feelings, thoughts. And it's important for them also to look at uh, education also as a... As a as a focus for their filmmaking, for their own expression and take up stories from the field. There's so much being done uh, by so many people all over India and I feel these stories need to be told, need to be shared so that they become part of the larger framework of education and they don't stand in and continue to be in small pockets. So government has taken the step to do something and I think it's time also for us, every individual, to step in and say this is what we want and this is how we want our children to be uh, brought up because the majority, the time that they spend in school is uh, the best part of their years. And if we give the best to them, definitely India will be also moved towards being a democratic country. In a real way, not just you know, in, uh, structurally, but also as a culture to be democratic is, uh, is important. Uh, mainly because it's, it is a struggle and I feel that struggle will lead to some action. Uh, the struggle is that uh, we are all used to, we grow up in families which are kind of uh, hierarchical or uh, they're patronizing or uh, patriarchal. And then when we go to school, it's so structured that our minds are oppressed in one way. And then we work also where it is again uh, quite feudal at times. So all these need to be looked at so that we give uh, new experiences to the child, where the child can function also democratically in a democratic context, which can be the home or the school. And unless they have that experience, India then cannot be truly functional, uh, truly democratic in a functioning way.